Hey guys, so glad you're here. Thank you for watching this video. Before we get into it, if you're new or if you're uh, unfamiliar with this kind of content, my channel, Chase After the Right Price, is a reselling channel with a heavy emphasis on video games and nostalgia and stuff like that. And my goal is to teach and help enable you to be able to either increase your side hustle or, you know, if you're full time, jump into that. So, I really appreciate you being here. If you're into that kind of content, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you get the notifications, and let's jump right into this thing. Hey guys, welcome to Chase After The Right Price. I'm Chase. I'm Thane. And we are going to Indiana today. Fort Wayne again, of course. Love this town. We got some deals with viewers that we're very excited about. Big purchases, a trade. We're gonna hit Walmarts and video maybe, game stores. Maybe a garage sale or two if we have time. Yep. And it should be a great day. So let's do it. Here we go. So we're at a garage sale. She's looking for video games. On our way to Fort Wayne. Camera sure thing. shot. A little free pick on the way. Yeah. Just pulled off the side of the road. That's probably good. I mean, it's in really nice shape. Yeah. And we can probably get it down from six bucks. Oh, no. You know it. We got oh. the shameless negotiator in the building. What is this one? Nikon One Touch. Hey, how's it going, man? Oh my goodness. What's Thanks. your name again? Brandon. Brandon? Yep. Cool. Nice to meet you. Sweet. So the ones that weren't in there are this, this. Okay. Yep. Isn't this a pretty uncommon? Yeah. <laughs> so here we are. <laughs> deal appreciate it he brought some extra stuff so he hit me up on Facebook so you guys can do that too if you have a collection or something to trade or whatever and met me where we were coming so it worked out great but I'll just show the the trade in detail so just to go over that trade and no I definitely didn't get everything in the pickup so I traded a turquoise switch light Mario Maker game only and 40 bucks cash I had 21 bucks into the Mario Maker game only, 212 into the Switch, plus 40 bucks cash. So we're sitting right about 275-ish total in value that I traded. And this is what I got. So we got this beautiful uh, Super Nintendo Mini, the Mario World box. Standard box for the Mini, but that's awesome. I'm gonna add Mario World and the AV cables. It doesn't have styrofoam. But that's a great piece. Um, that one is going to go in the collection, at least for now. I don't love having things like without styrofoam and whatnot in the collection, but I love that box and it has the protector, so that's amazing. This PS3, which works with a controller, 160 gigabyte. That was included, and that's awesome because those are going for big money right now. Got a Wavebird receiver, which those are solid 20 to 30 bucks. This uh, Simpson Season 15. Uh, Star Wars Trilogy on VHS and then all these games Rollerblade Racer uh, all the 3DS games are sealed so there's gonna be nice value Star Tropics GTA Director's Cut Street Fighter 2 is complete for the Super Nintendo base is loaded complete for Game Boy this PS Vita limited run game stealth 
Uh, that is sealed with everything. Tiny Troopers XL for the Switch. Swindle for PS4. Couple sealed Blu-rays. The Last of Us Remastered. NBA 2K20. Everything's like in great shape and complete. Mario Luigi, Bowser's Inside Story, and Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. A couple soundtracks, including the Mario Galaxy Official and the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD Sealed. A couple extra manuals, Final Fantasy Legend 2 being a good one. These are just boxes and manuals. Ace Combat Advance, Punky Skunk. So I'll probably sell that one since I'll probably never find the disc only for that game. Though it is possible. And then Mario All-Stars, which I will be able to quickly complete because that is a common Mario game. Nyko controller, uh, 3DS charger, zapper, and some Sony VHS is sealed. So $275 in trade value is what I gave up. And I would say I'm probably sitting around $500-ish in value here. So Brandon, thank you so much for the trade. He was a YouTube viewer, and it was a great time meeting him, getting to talk for a little bit, and I appreciate the deal. This is the part of the video where I look real lazy because I'm on camera <laughs> duty and don't actually move anything. <laughs> got everything from that collection laid out and I kind of wanted to just give a little bit better of an idea of what is here. Um, so pretty easy to see, three Nintendos right there with cords and controllers, four N64s, a SNES Mini, and then there's a few Xbox One games buried down in there. And then this is basically a box of controllers, accessories, basically controllers for all the systems, so 360 and whatnot. There's some lightsaber pieces in here, Just why not? And then you've got this uh, Neo Genesis Evangeline series, and I think that's the complete series. And then there's this series in here, kind of like anime bit by Bandai. And then some Studio Ghibli stuff, some, some nice DVDs that tend to hold value. And then there's more systems including a SNES and four GameCubes with controllers. Then you've got the Wii, a couple Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Advance, and then there's some nice Wii games buried under here. So you've got like Animal Crossing, Mario Kart, No More Heroes, Mario Party 8, Kirby's Dream Collection, Couple not as nice ones. The Legend of Heroes for PSP right there. And the Mario Galaxy 1 and 2, great games for all. And others. And then there's another Wii system with all the uh, trays, the Wii Sports down there. And we'll circle around. They've got DS games, pretty nice ones, 3DS games. Pokemon's, Mario's, Zelda's, gotta love those. And then there's a bunch of PS1 games, including Metal Gear Solid, Oddworld, Tekken 3, Final Fantasy 7 up there, a couple of Sega Genesis games, then we got Mortal Kombat 2 on the SNES complete, and some Super Nintendo games, Mario Worlds, Donkey Kongs, kinda hard to see, but I think you guys can get the picture. And then a bunch of Wii cords, accessories, remotes, always nice to have. And then you've got some carrying cases, more Wii cords, Mission Impossible box. Bunch of NES games. Gotta love getting Mario 2s and 3s and 
TMNT, basically just the popular stuff. And this is probably my favorite box because it has the GameCube and PS3, but mostly GameCube is why I care. So Mario Sunshine, Mario Kart, Animal Crossing, the Zeldas, good stuff there. And then over here we got two more SNESs, three Genesis, a Nintendo, that's rough, very rough, balance board, Atari 2600 in the box, and then at the very bottom is Pokemon Master Trader, the board game. And that is that. So that was the entire collection in a nutshell. Um, but we'll go through this, process everything, and Brian, thank you for the deal. Alright guys, so we just went to Walmart. So, went to Walmart. Walmart seems to be in a season of clearance right now. Yes. So I think they're trying to make room for all the all the COVID skews and everything that's going on. I think they're just moving, moving product. Out. So we've been going, uh, we've been using an app for some of you that have heard this before, but we're using an app called BrickSeek. It's actually just a website. They don't have an app, oh, which is archaic. Yeah, <laughs> not an app, actual website. So it's gonna be on your phone browser, yep. pain in the butt. But you can go and get pricing and stock stuff. And then we also were using the Walmart app to actually scan inside the store. Yes, um, to get because a lot of their prices are not accurate. Yes, we were getting things for seven dollars that were still marked at thirty. Yes, and that's actually the story on most of this stuff. Yeah, that's how we got pretty much everything. So. It's hot, guys. It's hot. What a day. 92 degrees. But we went to a lot of Walmarts and we got stuff at, at, at every one. We haven't shown footage of the last two because we've been in a going, rush. Going, we, we, both got, we both got uh, families to get home to. Yep. Um, but man, just spent like, I don't even know how much, 400 something. Got it's, been, some, it's been about 500 in each one. Yeah. The lowest one was 100, the highest was like 600. An average maybe 350, 400, so at three or four of them, maybe four, I can't yeah. remember. We got a lot of stuff. I, I think I might just do like an overall Walmart pickup Pick up. of everything stacked up on top of each other. And we'll follow that right after this clip so you guys can see the ridiculous amount of Walmart stuff. All right guys, so here is the full Walmart haul. I'm not going to be able to say the prices on everything because I don't remember and a lot of them have stickers that are not accurate like this one. Uh, I definitely didn't pay that. Maybe closer to nine bucks or so. Uh, so a lot of the stuff I used the Walmart app, scanned them, entered in my location for whatever Walmart we were at and then you know you can scan shelf tags, you can scan this tag which I just discovered and see what the game is actually selling for in the store if they haven't added the clearance sticker to it, which most Walmarts will have the proper clearance stickers on it, but some, you can kind of tell, they have games from 2017, 18, like Farming Simulator 17, and, you know, they just aren't properly clearancing stuff out and putting those stickers on stuff. So that's how we got most of this stuff, and th this was uh, four Walmarts, and most games were in the 7 to $15 range. And some were as low as two, like these Michael Jacksons were two dollars sealed. Got three PS4 cameras for like 43. A couple Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 for 15. Shaq Fu for 10. That one I'm going to use as trade bait. Um, Rocket League on PC for like seven or nine. And then a bunch of Uncharted's. The Yakuza Kiwami 2 for seven bucks. Steelbook. That's a great deal. Um, some Star Treks for I think 15, maybe 11. Eagle Flight, uh, three MacBook chargers, USB-C, which is awesome. Uh, those are 15 a piece. I think they retail for around 50, and they probably resell for around 35. And then this was one of the best finds, the Nino Kuni 2 Collector's Premium Edition. Bunch of 3DS games. Captain Toad being the probably the big winner because it was cheap and it's selling for good money. Bunch of XCOM 2, Naruto. Conan's, XCOM, again, uh, Samurai Showdown, got four of those, 
and then a bunch of Xbox One games as well. So just wanted to give you guys a quick synopsis of everything we got at four Walmarts. We were in a major hurry because um, we both need to get home by a certain time and we were far away from home so we made it happen. So that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you guys for coming along for the ride. Until next time. We'll see ya every Friday at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time and often Monday. Bart will do. Peace. Games, games, games.